Launch control. You can do it time and time again without breaking the car or avoiding the warranty, and it's also exceptionally easy. Put it in sport plus mode, put your left foot firmly on the brake, right foot all the way on the gas, spin up to 5600 RPMs, and hold on for dear life. Zero to 60 happens in 2.6 seconds, and it is unbelievable. Oh my god. Zero to 30 is the fastest thing I've ever felt. Oh my god. Zero to 30 is actually faster than a, than a Bugatti Veyron. That is unbelievably fast. If you keep your foot planted, it does the quarter mile in 10.8 seconds, which is also absurdly fast. Something else we love about this car is the transmission. You can only get the Porsche 7-speed PDK transmission. No manual option is allowed, which is actually a good thing. It's sad that manuals are gone, but there's no possible way you could shift a manual transmission like this car does. It's nearly telepathic in the way it functions. Down shifts are instantaneous, up shifts are crisp, and this is what the, the transmission is what allows this car to be so great. You can have all the power in the world, but if your transmission is garbage, it, the car is gonna feel like garbage. The 911 Turbo is one of the best handling cars on the road, and that's in part thanks to the new 991 generation's four-wheel steering. That means at lower speeds, the rear wheels turn in the opposite direction of the front wheels, which effectively shortens the wheelbase of the car, makes it more nimble and capable. At higher speeds, the rear wheels turn in the same direction of the front wheels, which effectively lengthens the wheelbase and provides increased stability. It's an absolute riot to drive in the turns, as well as, of course, doing launch control in a straight line. Supercars and practicality are not always synonymous, but in the 911's case, this Turbo S is one of the most practical supercars in existence. You have tons of space inside, it's even got four seats, but headroom, legroom is great. There's a great trunk in the front. This car is something you could use on a daily basis. It won't punish you like some other cars. It's easy to see out of. You would literally could drive this on a daily basis and then go to the track and just demolish other sports cars or supercars. A great thing about the 911 is the way it looks. The 911 has been beautiful for every generation except maybe the 996. You're getting a car with supercar performance that's beautiful without being brandish and show-offy. It's not exotic and ridiculous looking like a Ferrari or a Lamborghini and that can be good in many ways. You lose some of the attention, some of the negative attention that's associated with that, but the sports car enthusiasts and car enthusiasts will know if they see a Porsche Turbo S on the road yes. that it means business and how incredible it really is. The 991 generation is my favorite, it's the best looking generation in my opinion other mm -hmm. than the 993. I think it's gotten progressively, progressively better, 996 was not that great, 997 was better, 991 next to it, it just looks sharper, yes. it's more aggressive, but it's still got that beautiful classic looks that the 911 has always had. The last thing is value. The Turbo S stickers for just over $180,000. And you think about the other competitors that can even remotely come close to its performance. A McLaren, a Ferrari, a 458, a Lamborghini Huracan. They sticker for a lot more than that. Therefore, this car is a supercar bargain if you think about it that way. Yeah, I mean, compared to a Z06 or a GTR, it is more expensive, yes. but it's also, it also comes with a lot more. I mean, it's much Porsche more refined. More yeah, it's a it, more prestigious brand. Exactly. I'd rather have this car than either one of those. But yeah, even something like the Bugatti Veyron, the 0-60 to 60 times are practically identical. Yes. This car is actually faster to 30 miles an hour. Mm -hmm. That's a heck of a buy for for 180k. I yeah. mean, obviously, obviously, 180 thousand dollars is a ton of money. But we're speaking in relative terms against some cars that are 300 thousand yes. dollars plus, mm -hmm. and upwards of millions of dollars in the Veyron's case. Overall, I mean, Turbo S is great. It's an incredible, incredible, capable vehicle, supercar killer, practical daily driver. You can't really beat it. Nope. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Like always, please browse our channel and subscribe. If you could like us on Facebook and follow us on Instagram, that'd be great. Look forward to seeing you next video.